So we're starting with this. I have absolutely no idea who did it. I do have suspect suspicions, but they're not because of uh, evidence. I'm buying some skills. I have uh, like how much? Two thirteen uh, that I can use. Mm, that's very interesting. I think. Great, so we have two extra influence and two extra focus, which is great. I like it. Okay. Difficulty, again, is on me. And I'm ready. I have no idea who did this. I have no idea how this will go. Let's go. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. Which I still don't get why you always During do this. The trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will graduate from this academy. Also, Yay. Refusing to vote will result in your Let's go, Monokuma. So you better vote for someone. Now, let's get this crazy, awesome, crazy yeah, okay. awesome to the max trial underway. I think we all know who the most suspicious one is. It's... Let's combine our power and work together, everyone! <laughs> wow, Tenko. I, I, I thought about it, and while I, yes, I bitch to this girl a lot because of the, the Dreadnought Mail's shtick, she's one of the few who seems to care about girls, at least. So, good on her. Um, the person <laughs> who's most suspicious is... Now, let me your energy, everyone, so we can catch the culprit. Very good. Because the murder happened during the magic <laughs> show, the culprit only be... Yeah, I see where he's going. Yeah! I'm in top form today. Very good. Tenko, why are you interrupting me? <laughs> you can't have a good trial if you talk over me. Huh? I'm not interrupting you. No, you sure aren't, Tenko. What you have to say is probably worthless anyway, because all males want to talk about is S-E... No! Seems suspicious. Wow, Angie. Wow. Hey! Angie, how can you accuse Himiko? Because she is suspicious, Tenko. And we are the child. It's useless to try and uh, deviate attention. We are, we are talking about her because she is the most suspect. Although, of course, it's not her. Aren't you her friend? Um, I'm just telling you what Atua is telling yeah, is is she suspicious? Yes, she is. Is she the culprit? No. Divine knowledge to show us the way to survive. You should thank him, lest he pour his holy wrath upon you all. It's not even Angie. Fuck. <laughs> she's acting. That guy's got nothing on me. She's totally acting like uh, a. She, she she's acting like a complete. Uh, uh, what's the word for it? Red Herring, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm. I'll protect Himiko! Oh, by the way, this. Yesterday I said that. Yesterday. Last episode I said that I'd take a break and then play the trial. No, I actually waited a whole day to do it. it I was too tired Himiko yesterday. Ryoma died during Himiko's magic show. His body appearing in the water tank leads one to think the escape trick played a part. Mm, so maybe. Shall we suspect Himiko? She was the one performing the trick. No, that's wrong. The underwater escape wasn't a trick. No, stop it. It was magic. It's not the part you need to deny. You gotta tell us you're not the culprit. Yeah. <laughs> magic, huh? That's so cool. What a mysterious miracle. Now, did you kill Ryoma, Himiko? Atua will hear your confession. Stop it! There's no way any of that is true! She didn't. It's true though. Himiko used the underwater escape trick to kill Ryoma. Shut up, Kokichi. But I still don't have a clue how Himiko did the trick. Th there's no trick. That really was magic. No. You know, maybe it really was magic. No! Stop it. If you don't reveal your trick now, then we'll vote you as the culprit. Stop picking on Himiko! A cute tiny flower like her couldn't kill anyone. Uh, one, I doubt that. 
Two? No, she didn't. Yeah, I also do. He, he was already dead. Fuck off! After that, the time ran out. The tank about Ryoma opened and piranhas came pouring out. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's wrong. Sorry, what you got, That's. Yeah, it was a savage way to go. Sorry, what you got. Yes. Was no trick, it's magic. We heard you the first time, Titless. No one cares. <laughs> titless. Oh god. No, no, he wasn't even alive. I know that. And the thing is, he was already dead. After that, the tank about Ryoma opened and piranhas came pouring out. Piranhas, piranhas. What? No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get the V counter. Whoops. Oh well, at least I got it. Better than nothing. No, Ryoma's death was not caused by the piranhas. Yeah. The Monokuma file indicates the cause of death is drowning. Yeah. So it wasn't the piranhas then. It was drowned. Which changes everything. I haven't checked the Monokuma file yet, so that's news to me. Hmm. You know what, Kukichi? I kinda doubt that. I think you're actually pretty smart. And by pretty smart, I mean you're a fucking genius. You're just an asshole. You Sounds like friend. Nagito. Telling is what turns you into a degenerate male. That's not... I don't think... I think that's something that you have since the moment you're born. So what? Ryoma drowned? Kimiko changed places with him, and then the piranhas ate him, right? And Angie, Angie, there, I, I won't even try and discuss about that. That no, doesn't make any Kimiko sense. Kimiko only had 60 seconds to escape from the tank. Even if they changed places at the start of the show, that's insufficient time to drown someone. Thank you, Kibo. If that is the case, then when did he drown? In his room, right? Uh, before the show start, I mean, of course, uh, it's before the show start that, uh, That's it. yeah, okay, <laughs> at least we, we're going right with that. Before the show started. Agreed. I still can't believe I'm Shuichi in the trial and not Kaede. <laughs> Sorry. Before being eaten by the piranhas, he made no attempt to escape the water. Because he was already dead. Precise. He made no movements whatsoever. But I thought that was already clear even before answering. By that point, he had already joined the ranks of the dead. Yup. Which means... Does that mean his body was hidden until the okay, so made it appear in the Okay, so this could easily be a suicide. Because of how much, he, how much stuff was used from his room and everything. It, Where? But I don't know. The culprit would have had to hide the body near the tank. And then show it during the act. Easier said than done. Was there a place on stage where the culprit could have hid the body? Oh wait, Himiko should know since she performed the underwater escape trick. Yeah. Himiko, why won't you just explain it to us? Mm, I don't know. It's magic. Himiko, it's gonna be a problem if you survive this, simply because you, we are we are going to have to like reveal your trick, and uh, you will lose your name as. You know, mage. No, maybe it really was magic. Shut up. Yeah, thank you, Maki. Thank you, Maki. Himiko is committed to her act, but those who deal in dreams are oft liars. Yeah. Why is everyone still picking on Himiko? Okay, you're Tenko. Drunk dad's rambling. You, you're already exaggerating. Stop it. We should let him vent. After all, it's tough being the man of the house. And. We gotta figure out how the trick works to find where the body was hidden. But Himiko does not wish to tell us how she performed her act. Because it was magic. No. Then let's work together to reveal the secret behind Himiko's trick. 
So, not real magic? No. No, it was real magic. Himiko, it, there is no real magic. Do we need that? Oh no! It's Himiko's curse! Her curses are really powerful! Thank you. Aren't incantations usually more um complicated than that? Yes! There there I mean I mean there are no incantations. <sighs> Let's see. Did Himiko escape the water tank? Maybe she just climbed out and no one noticed. Nah, she definitely would have been caught. Perhaps the mechanism was set up on the stage. The curtain mm. covering the tank was certainly suspicious. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? What's the water tank tr trick then? Oh, okay. Maybe the tank had a secret hatch. Yep. Boom. I agree. Thank you, Maki. I really want to like Maki. So please, Maki. Maki is correct. There was an escape hatch on that tank. I see. So it did have one. That's right. I discovered a similar tank in Himiko's lab. There was a panel on the side that could open. That was her escape. So? Oh fuck you. Shut up! No! Your logic is all wrong, Shuichi! What's wrong about my logic? Come on, talk to me! Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> and you don't even know why you're wrong either! Typical degenerate male! <laughs> I'll smash in your face with my fists of hot burning steel! Can we just discuss? Thank you. Let's see, let's see what's so wrong about this. Bitch! Open. Doesn't have anything to do with Himiko's escape. She didn't use an escape hatch. I know she didn't do that. And Are now, you sure? I'm gonna punch you. Gotcha. Okay. Wait a second. Before you punch me, <laughs> what makes you so sure she didn't? Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. Yeah. Would have been water everywhere. Gotcha. I, I, I have no idea to get the V counter here, so I'll, I'll just avoid it. And I knew it. There was a reason the room wasn't flooded with water. The staircase that was attached to the water tank. That was flooded with water. Oh my god, okay. For now, I'm following the case very nicely. It was aligned perfectly with the tank's escape hatch, meaning the water tank was connected to the inside of the staircase. Inside staircase? His body was in stairs? Knowing that, it's clear how Himiko made her escape from underwater. There was a curtain covering the tank during the performance. Allowing Himiko to enter the staircase from the hatch undetected. Any water that spilled out would have simply funneled into the staircase. So how do you get out from the staircase? The staircase also has an escape hatch. One facing away from us. It's placed so that the water would not drain from the staircase. In which case, a person could exit and leave water inside the staircase. Yep. Um, I'm trying to click, by the way. <sighs> but it just doesn't work. I'm well, sorry. That person would be soaked, meaning that some trace should be left. Exactly. Why there was a puddle around the stairs. So when Himiko came out from the stairs, her wet clothes dripped water all over. Yep. Haha, <laughs> bitch! Caught you soaking wet and red-handed! Of course, you were the one to say this. Come on, Himiko, just say it. Judging from Himiko's reaction, you hit it right on the bullseye. But Himiko's clothes should have been wet when she left the water tank. That's right. That's... 
That's actually right. I was I, I was just thinking about that. And I have no idea what were definitely not wet. Of course. That's because my underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. Uh she never went into the water, she dried off quickly, she changed their uniform. That's it. Oh, okay. Pretty easy then. It's because she changed her uniform. The dormitory is stocked with uniforms. Did you hide one behind the stage in advance? Could be. <laughs> I remember seeing Himiko go to the gym this morning, carrying a uniform and a towel. Whoops! Ah! Ah! Why would you say that? Because we are on in a trial. Tenko, our lives are on the line. Did you, did you get that? She had a towel too. She may not have had time to fully dry her hair. But her short hair and hat ensured we were none the wiser. Yep. Himiko can't get wet because her body repels water. Yeah, sure. Okay. Huh? Like a duck? No, just shut up. Come on. Give it up already. Thank you, Kaito. Fine. You win. It's just like you said. The water tank and staircase both have mechanisms. But it's still magic. So I was correct. But, but that doesn't mean I use them. Oh my fucking god. Can I shoot a, a truth bullet through a head just like now? I didn't need them. Because I used my magic. <sighs> do we need to do the panic talk? Were you dropped on your head as a kid? Fucking hell. I'm, I'm with Mew. Now that we understand how the trick was performed, let us move on. Yes, let us proceed. <laughs> Where did the culprit hide Ryoma's body? From our discussion earlier... I just want her to say, no, I don't use magic. But she's so annoying with that. From, right? I mean, she's cute, she's, you know, lovable and so on. But she's so annoying. So Himiko went in the stairs with the body? What kind of kinky shit is she into? <laughs> Well, everyone has his tastes. You have yours, like Mew. Yeah, right, Mew? Pretty cramped. It'd be hard to fit even Ryoma and Himiko in there. Yeah. Who says They're... they went in together? She could have made the switch as she was leaving the tank. But she didn't. At the same time, she could have pulled out the body from inside the stairs. Yes, but I don't believe that's it. There's too much evidence. That, way that proves something else happened. See how easy that is. I mm. that explains how Himiko changed places with Ryoma's body. Hmm. I'm thinking. Do we have a way to say no? You're wrong to Angie because yeah, that's a that's a theory that I think kind of holds up. Wait a minute. Why did you automatically assume it was Himiko? Who else but Himiko could have done it? If we are following your theory. It's her, but it's not your theory. Your theory is somehow wrong. Uh, Angie, you spent more time with Himiko than any of us. So why are you accusing her? You may think you're protecting Himiko, but what if she really is the culprit? We'll all die, and it will be all your fault. Atua will lose precious devotees. Yeah. Are you okay with that, Tenko? I'm totally fine with that. What? I don't care what <laughs> anyone says. Himiko would never murder someone. That's what I believe more than anything. Belief is not something I right. I want to believe in her, no matter what. If I can't do that, then I'd rather just die. <sighs> Belief comes with doubt, I think uh, Chiaki said once. So until this body takes its final breath, I'm gonna keep believing in Himiko. Oh god. Uh, the only one who could have switched out Ryoma's body is Himiko herself. When Himiko was escaping the tank, Kokich, I need the Gonta. And the Gon what did Gonta say? I kind of forgot. 
Oh, right, right, right. Oh, it's Gonta. Okay. She dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. She couldn't have. And simply switched places with it. Are you telling me you saw that happen? No one no. would have seen that. It would have Except... occurred in the middle of the show. Yeah. When the tank was covered with a curtain. Nobody could have seen so that. Basically, no one saw anything. V counter, bitch. Oh, it feels so satisfying to eat the V counter. It's so good. Someone did see inside the tank. It was Gonta. Gonta had climbed onto the stage and was I totally forgot about that. Robot. And yes, that totally fucks up with Angie's theory. Isn't that right, Gonta? Yeah, Gonta saw down into tank, but saw no one in there. No one was in there? Yeah, no one. Guess that clue no good, huh? No, that's, that's actually a great clue. Because if Ryoma's body was hidden inside the staircase, yeah. Kiko would have had to pull them out before she went inside. If there was room for them both, it would have been possible, but there wasn't. There certainly wasn't enough room in the staircase for both of them. But that means if the tank was empty when Gonta looked, Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. Boom! What if they squeezed into that space with Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught? She had no need to worry about us witnessing her at that point. Exactly. The entire stage was hidden behind a curtain. To all but Gonta, anyway. Then the culprit never would have considered hiding inside the staircase with the body. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster and seems more rational, too. Yeah. It, it would have been useless to plan that, which would have made everything much harder, and that's it. Someone better say where the fucking body was hidden, or I'm gonna start cutting throats! Oh, calm down. Let's see. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. Well, how about behind the curtain? If there was a way to enter the tank from there, then it would be plausible. Or maybe the body was in the tank all along, but we just couldn't see it. Yeah. Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? Yeah? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas were separated, then it wouldn't have been devoured, correct? Yeah. I... Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? Let me just look at uh, square glass. Okay, it was the bottom of the piano tank. There are bits of glass were shattered, but his pain remained perfect, perfectly square. After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. So, I'm gonna go with this. That off. What of the tank containing the piranhas? Yeah. No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas... Boom! I am on... I am doing this. I am so good today. I'm getting everything right at the first try. Kyo's hypothesis is correct. The body and the piranhas were separated. This was accomplished using the square glass pane found in the tank. Great. <laughs> Just as I thought. <laughs> You're so creepy. Using that glass pane as a divider, a safe space could be created in the tank. Because we have testimonies from, I think, uh, the maid. I'm sorry, I really can't get myself to remember her name. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm actually going to look at her name just to be able to pronounce her. So to say it. Kirumi. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Kirumi. Um, I was saying uh, that Kirumi 
sad, if I'm not mistaken, that he looked really cramped, which means, yes, he was in there. So Ryoma's body fell into the water tank with the piranhas? Yep. Gonta knew it! What is it, Gonta? Gonta was above stage when piranhas fall. Oh, you saw it. That's why Gonta sees something no one else could. When piranhas fell, Gonta sees some big thing fall into water tank with them. And that solves the case. Oh, I didn't even notice that there is, uh, like, an X onto the monocubs. For the monocubs, too. Let's let's look at it slow motion. Okay, it doesn't show it. No. Now that going to think about it, going to maybe see Ryoma's body. Yeah, it could be. When the piranhas drop from the tank, I thought I saw something bigger drop as well. Very good. The tank on the bottom is made completely out of glass, correct? You can see what is happening through the glass. Can you really hide a body in the tank? Uh, the piranhas were very. A dead body would still be visible in a glass tank. Not if uh, they were super crammed. Unless a certain something was used to obscure the body. Or that. A certain something. We all agree that the glass pane was used to separate the body from the piranhas, correct? Yeah. Well, that method has the added benefit of hiding the body. Oh, okay, so that's that's exactly what I was saying. Okay. Yeah. How could you hide a body like that? This is it. Oh my god, yes, I'm on top of it today. It was the yeah. Piranhas. The piranhas were obscuring the body. Huh? The piranhas? Yeah, the piranhas. <laughs> what Angie said during the investigation? Oh, it was Angie, not Kirumi. Mm. They increased that significantly? I didn't know piranhas fuck like rabbits. I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> Way. Nah. That the actual number of piranhas increased? Yeah. It was literally just his body. The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. So, yeah, that's that's a huge problem. Because that brings suspicions to the one suspicion to the ones who prepared everything, except for the fact that no, from the window anybody could have done that. Because of that. It was difficult to see the body hidden in the tank. And it had to be some... Nah, nah. Scratch that. That glass pane was... lid from the piranha tank. It was really easy to detach that lid. So it's no wonder they used it as a divider. Gee, thanks for telling us that useless detail. Fuck you, Kokichi. What the heck are you saying? That detail was super useful! Sure, the lid looks a little big, but if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. Nice job, Himiko! Your explanation was awesome! You're... stop it. With this much evidence, it seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Congrats, Himiko! Now there should be no reason for anyone to suspect you! This really reminds me of Hiyoko in the second case of the second game. You know, small girl being accused, she has to defend herself. If you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him. It only means we now have other suspects. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. Yeah. Okay, but still, that's way better. That's wonderful news, Himiko. Atua is happy for you. Apologize, Angie. You and your Atua better tell <laughs> no, Himiko you're no. sorry right now. No, no, shut up. She was actually suspect. That's it. Atua is sleeping. He went to bed angry because you all doubted him. Angie. What a petty ass god. Yeah. It's okay. We shouldn't be mad at Angie. We should be mad at this class trial. At this killing game. Oh, Himiko. Bless your sweet, kind heart. Oh my god. Can you just get a room already? Actually, no. I don't think, I don't think Himiko wants any of that. 
Tenko, calm down. What are we gonna do? We're back to square one. No, no. And why are we back to square one? Yeah, exactly. We're not back to square one. We just. Jeez, you flunk out of tard school or something. How about we stick to the plan to look at things one at a time instead of uh, pretending to get the answers together? Like I don't know. I think that's similar to the name Chiaki gave it. <laughs> uh -uh. Not everyone. We can narrow it down to whoever doesn't have an alibi yet. Mm, I don't know. Eh? What alibi? I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. So let me explain. Oh my god. <laughs> She's gonna eat you. Who you calling a dumb pig? She, he also said whore. If there's this much evidence, then there's no mistake the body was hidden in the piranha tank. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. And it was yesterday during night time. I, I would say before night time. That's it. Okay, great. Okay. It was done yesterday before night time. Because during night time, uh, it's the, the gym is closed. Ding ding ding! The ultimate detective gets it right again. Thank you, Kokichi. Wait, how do you know it was before night time yesterday? Stop asking me dumbass questions. It could have been solved with the process of elimination. Jeez. <laughs> Fine. I'll explain it to the itty bitty pea brained bitchlet. Shut up. <laughs> First, the gym was She's enjoying it so much. Because if you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. You talking about my butthole? No. Oh, she means the alarm. After nighttime passed, morning. Came. <sighs> don't don't talk, Monocabs. Before the show was <laughs> impossible. Himiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announcement. Which leaves only one possibility. It was done before nighttime yesterday. It could have been done today morning if the body was dropped in there, though, right? Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitchlet over there. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, there's three the in the piranha tank before nighttime yesterday. Which means he was also killed during that time frame. Yay! Now we know what time the crime happened, right? Do I have anything to say? Can we narrow down the time of death a bit more? Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, where is the evidence I'm looking for? This is it. Okay, I I wanted that piece of evidence. The one uh, Kirumi told me. Alive, we can narrow down the time of death. Kirumi, you were asking everyone. Yeah. Last seen, and right? she gave us a time. Yes, Gonta was the last person who saw Ryoma. What? Really? And when was the last time Gonta saw Ryoma? Um, when Gonta was inviting everyone to insect meet and greet, so... Gonta think that was maybe 8 p.m.? If he was last seen at 8 p.m. and was killed before nighttime officially began... Then we can assume the crime took place between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night. Except it wasn't. So all we must do... He's find someone with no alibi for that time period, yes? Uh, this is getting complicated because it didn't. Ha if if it didn't really happen during that time, and the killer is just trying to fuck with us, then it must have happened during the morning, you know, before the show. So we would just have to look at who has an alibi for between eight and ten, and who doesn't have an alibi for this morning. And uh, if we do an intersection between the two like groups, uh, we should find the culprit because that person did ex did this exactly to be safe. I don't know if I was clear enough with my explanation, but that's how I think it is. Simple enough. After all, most of us were detained by Gonta then. If I recall correctly, 
The only people that weren't there besides Ryoma... That would be the four of us. Myself, Kaito, you, and also... Maki. Well, Kirumi, you would tell the truth, even if it screwed you over. Yeah. I do this for everyone. It is my duty to unveil the truth, so I do not care if people suspect me. Well, that is good. Ah, beautiful! Your spirit of self-sacrifice is just too beautiful! Get away from me, you piece. No. This. The crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night, and I was at the gym during that time. But I was only there for about five minutes. Why okay. Why even say that, though? You're tying a noose around your neck, you know. Nah, she's actually innocent. I don't care if it was five seconds. It's way too suspicious that you were alone in the gym. She did tell us, though. I think the cleaning lady here is the culprit. You killed Ryoma, didn't you? Uh, it's Mew? too soon to tell. We should hear what everyone has to say, right? Yeah. Fuck that noise. <laughs> Sorry, I was yawning, and uh, I, I couldn't laugh as I was yawning. You don't have an alibi for when the crime occurred either, do you? Yeah, you were running around in underwear. Why? You think I'm suspicious? Uh, I don't even know where the gym is. Doesn't telling such obvious lies make you more suspicious, Mew? Yeah. And the other two without alibis are Kaito and Maki. Let us hear you. Kaito testimony. says he was running around. Maki says she was in her lab, her so nobody has alibis. I didn't go to the gym. But that cannot be proven, can it? Yeah. What about Kaito? Only murderers grow out creepy facial hair like mustaches and goatees. What? My goatee's not creepy. It gives me a glamorous celebrity vibe. <laughs> anyway, among those four, the culprit must be the one who doesn't have an alibi. None of them. I apologize, but given the circumstances, we have no choice but to suspect you. Suspect who? Who's the culprit? Wait up! Why are you guys suspicious of me? Oh no! The whole time. But wait, I remember now. I do have an alibi. She's making it up. See whether or not I am suspicious as the trial progresses. No I'm not way the, culprit. the culprit. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh, so okay, okay. It oh right, the last one didn't have it. I didn't even know this. Okay, fine. What is your alibi? Tried hiding in the classroom. When I was running from I even tried hiding in the girls' so bathroom. Things got a little heated if catch my breath. Nothing else perfect. Things got a little heated. Then right before nighttime, I got tired and fell asleep. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you did not stay what? at the gym? No, in my own room. Jeez. Okay, yeah. No, I like focusing on them all at the, at the same time. Wait, can I can I look at witnessing Ryoma? Nah. What's Kokichi's account? As you get left the it was caught by Kirumi in the entrance hall. He stayed with her until 10 p.m. Okay. Nighttime, I got tired and I fell asleep. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you did not sleep at the gym? No, oh, fuck! No! Oh, fuck. I just. Okay. I know I know what to say. I just. I just missed completely. Uh, Are you sure you did not stay at the room? Boom! V counter, bitch. I love this. I love this game. Is too good. This game is too good. No, I think Kirumi is telling the truth. Kokichi's story proves it. It really does. 
It really does. <laughs> Unless he was lying. Kokichi met Kirumi at 9 p.m. and they were together until nighttime. Gonto went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie five minutes before nine o'clock. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till nine o'clock. This information could have been told to us beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, forgot. I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. Yeah, of course you didn't. What? It seems far more plausible that you were telling another lie. Unlike mm. robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. Oh, shut up. supposed to offend me? Your irrationality fills me with pity. <laughs> Kibo just gave up. I killed Ryoma within five minutes, transported him to the gym, and hid him in the piranha tank. This seems highly unlikely. Yep. If you called Ryoma out to the gym and killed him there, we wouldn't need to move him. All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. Gonto was in the midst of heading to the gym to capture Angie. Are you claiming I took advantage of that and called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Um, that would be pretty different. I... We I think you're innocent, Kirumi. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. The only one no, capable of that no, the nobody snuck no into the gym. Mew, Kaito, and Maki! Ah, you're including me too? But there's actually one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Right? There's one person who's totally not suspicious. Say who it is already. <laughs> He's gonna say Mew. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's Mew. It's Mew. That's it. He saw a girl in an underwear, if I remember correctly. <laughs> you're talking about Mew, right? What? <laughs> yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. Even she doesn't know. Suck it, nerds! <laughs> Wait a sec, since when does she have an alibi? If you compare everyone's statements, there's no other possibility. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, unless you were a girl in her underwear. Uh, Mr. Kaito. I... Yeah, I'm gonna call it uh, stupid if it actually happened at, in the morning and we are we're just wasting 30 minutes here talking about stuff that doesn't make sense. Who else could it be? But the horny exhibitionist Mew. We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? Yeah, but if if you look at the shape of the body and if she really was half naked, trust me, there is one person who could have been. Anyone walking around in women's underwear even me nah trust me you don't ever you know shape be a whole different issue <laughs> no it's new without a doubt you and Gonta's statements prove it yeah no she used her secret woman weapon <laughs> No, I I want to make you curious. It sounds like Gonta got an eyeful, hmm? <laughs> what? Why the heck were you in your underwear, Mew? Oh, well, cuz you know, I'm pretty stacked, so. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'd take my clothes off so Gonta would be too flustered to touch me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches. Yeah, you totally didn't do You were already in uh, half naked just because, yes. HA! <laughs> I think the blood rushed to both of Gonta's heads because he got super embarrassed. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> they went there. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> she wears black underwear. I respect that. In her underwear, and Gonta got weird feeling. Mew, Mew, you totally didn't take those off. 
You were already, you were already working looking around so like that, weren't you? Well, when you got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. <laughs> oh god damn it, Mew. That's why I love you. I show my panties to the boys all the time. No, you don't. You just gave me yours, but that's it. And I mean all the time. No, you don't. So you're welcome, Gonta. Think of me during your next tug session. Gonta, if you want, I have uh, um I have videos of her and uh, audio of her moaning. And she gave me a complete kit, so you know. Most of that was unintelligible nonsense, but it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> 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 they while, but at least we got uh, everyone's alibis cleared up. That segment was literally just to show off me in her underwear, and I hope more comes because <laughs> I love it when games just talk, uh, uh, when games say, "Look, let's just stop for five minutes and give you fun service." We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. All right, that's cool. Leaves, Kaito and Maki. As the only ones with no alibis. Then one of them must be the culprit. Nope. But which one, I wonder? Any mini mini mo gets the culprit by it. Hold up! Don't decide just yet. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit. What? No, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. The base crown between them two? We narrowed it down to two people. And one of those two is the culprit. Right? No, we're not doing a majority vote. Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. And what is this effective method? If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? Because oh, if you fuck. know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. Yes, that is true. Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. If we are going on the assumption that yes, the murder happened uh, between 8 and 10 p.m., yes, you are completely right, Kokichi. But I am pretty sure that just like Nagito, you're really smart and you know. It didn't happen between 8 and 10, and you're just being a fucking jerk. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. Work harder? Have the two argue for their innocence. That's how we uh. decide the culprit. Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? Yeah. And... Huh? You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork. But you're all afraid. You're too scared Maybe. to point your fingers at others. So you hide behind the word trust. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? Okay, that is actually very much true. But that is very much true. And the first try I was telling that about... Oh my god, Mio, calm the fuck down. Um, I was just saying in the first case that... Oh my god, Kaede stopped trusting Shuichi. And that's what was... Uh, that was that's what was making me mad. But then, of course, it all made sense in the end because you know, Kaide knew who the culprit was since the very beginning. In this one, let's stop trusting each if other this much. To expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit. I love it. Get more evil, if Kokichi. I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. This is good voice acting, I love it. No more pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. So let's host an argument that's totally not boring but super fun! We'll catch the culprit in their lies when we find a contradiction. We'll scare the <laughs> culprit until they screw up! That's how a true class trial works. Yeah, right, sure. Monokuma? <laughs> development like that would liven things up a bit. Yep, I totes agree. You're Shut up. Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? 
I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. A hot debate to smoke uh, out the liar. And how God do you expect it. us to start this? If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. Our oh topic my God! Is this? Ta-da! Of course you watch them all. Of course. Just any Cubs pad, but the one given to our latest victim, Ryoma. How do you have that? When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow. You shit, you e picked it. So, it wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room. It was you. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun! One of these two had it. And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this motive video belongs to. <laughs> you shit! <laughs> He's so evil! Whose motive video did Ryoma have? It was Kaito. Or... It was Maki. Or neither, I don't know. It was neither. No, it was Maki. That's it. Why, though? It was Maki's motive video, right? Wow, how did you ever guess? Ooh, I know, I know. It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Yeah. The process of elimination wins again. The obvious answer was Maki, right? Or it could have been anyone else's. Shuichi? Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because yeah. Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the She has such a good poker face though. I mean, she didn't even seem flustered about the fact that he was about to accuse her. <laughs> Finally you said something! This is how a debate should be. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me? Okay. <laughs> He's such a... Oh my god! Kaito, ready to argue. If you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. Got that? Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lies. Rip each other apart. He's so evil. Wait just a minute. What are you trying to... Quit screwing around. We don't need to debate who's a culprit. I'm not the culprit. That's for sure. Which means... Kind of wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Yeah, we... guys, Kokichi. stop. But Maki isn't a culprit either. Oh, okay, oh my god, thank you. Huh? What? Huh? Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Yep, and you, I'm pretty sure you also know Kokichi. Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. I mean, you're saying it from heart, I'm saying it because I know. It's just a hunch I've got. Uh, a hunch? <laughs> Are you serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Huh, you don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. This is an official hunch from the <laughs> Momota, Luminary of the Stars. Yes, uh, it has to be true then. What? How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? Kokichi, no, shut up. He might actually be that stupid. <laughs> Damn idiot! A Tuadan's idiot! <sighs> hey, don't call me an idiot! Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. Oh my god, Kite. You believe in her? But based on what? Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything. No matter where the clues point. No, okay, that that doesn't yeah, make sense. The only thing that matters is what I believe, right? No. <laughs> whether I believe or not. Whether I want to believe or not. That's the only thing that matters. So you do not have any evidence. Only no baseless conjecture. But I totally get where he's coming from, because I want to believe in Himiko too. Oh my god, this this child is going to shatter us. Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. 
However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. That's true. He's an idiot after all. It's okay to be idiot, as long as you believe in people. Great, we're about to have another showdown. Guys, I said don't call me an idiot. Really hurts my feelings. <laughs> is it gonna be like, is he an idiot? Okay, break. Yeah. Yeah. I believe in Maki as well. What? That's our power, <laughs> right? Making us think with our hearts. You too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaido to this crime. Exactly. Either. That's the that's the thing. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. For now, they are innocent. Right on, Shuichi. I knew I picked a good sidekick. Uh, and by the way, I might be the ultimate detective. <laughs> I'm in training. Yeah. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, I'm not a real detective. How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Uh, trying to rebuild what happened? Unless you have evidence to the contrary. These two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Yeah. Please do, Maki. Huh? It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. Please turn to best girl. But Please. This idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously, enough's enough. Stop calling me an idiot. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Maki? I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. Yeah. So I'll tell you. Oh, tell us what? I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. And you literally said nothing. Maki, what the fuck? Do you hear that? That's the last 40 minutes going into the trash. So Ryoma was still alive at night time? I thought the crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. That's wrong, because I met up with Ryoma during night time. If that's true, then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki. That's right. Everyone suspected them, because they know have alibis for those times. That means yep. me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Quit fucking around! You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Yes, this seems too convenient. But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? <laughs> it's totally obvious! Maki's so desperate that she has to lie! It could be a lie, but guess what? It's totally possible for him to have died after. Yeah, I believe her. Intermission, baby. Intermission number one. I am very interested. And I do wonder who's the culprit. Because I think uh, it's gonna be an unexpected one. I am very curious. I'm gonna take myself a five minutes break and I'm gonna come back. Because I do have time. Oh, so excited, so excited.